Best question wins. <laughs> yeah, when Mara kit. When Mara budgies, <laughs> boys. We had a lot of boundless at the hotel, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, considering all the trips you had out a lot tonight, a really great performance to come here and get the two points. Yeah, I said to him in there, 40% of our cap missing tonight and nearly 1,200 games down our L experience, but no one blinked through the week. Um, you know, I'll give the senior players a massive rap, not only for their performance, but they, how they handled the week. Um, Latrell here and, and Katie Walker was outstanding all week and I thought his performance tonight was outstanding as well. What about when they were down 16-6, six, they didn't seem to really panic, it was just kind of once you, the passes started sticking, you'd, you'd always come over the top, is that what you thought? Yeah, it was bizarre because I felt like we looked the more threatening team and then we had a poor turnover from a poor end of set and they picked it up and ran the length and scored on the next play and then the two crossfield kicks where we legged them out with our penalties so we spoke about our discipline at half time and if we tighten that up, we felt we could put some pressure on them. And every time we got down there, we looked dangerous. Um, yeah, and AJ pulled out the day of the game and cost himself a hat trick. So, spilling. Um, but it's good for Richie. He's been real patient and he's playing some good footy in reserve grade. And give our reserve grade coaches um, Dane Dory and Jason Rapp as well. They've, we spoke a month ago about getting some boys ready to play first grade, and and they stepped up tonight. You lost some after 20 seconds. Mm. Yeah, someone's got some voodoo doll out there somewhere. It's just, but yeah, but again, you know, the influence uh, having Cody Nicarima there proved vital for us to be able to jump in there. We had Keon played five eight front row and back row. I thought you put Tom there. Yeah, we, Tom wanted to go there, but um, yeah, it was yeah, it's the best win I've been involved in in my time at the club, um, just in terms of character and just willing to pay the price and do what they needed to do. How is Um He's alright, I think. He's got a, race, race. a bruise, a bruised cheek. Um, he just failed the last part of the protocol, so he, he got ruled out. But I'm, I'm pretty confident with a long turnaround, he'll be okay. Hmm. Trell, you look like you're playing with some emotion out there in terms of the crowd was giving it to you and you're into them a little bit. It looked like you are having a bit of fun. Yeah, mate, that's the game of rugby league. Um, you know, Newcastle's obviously a one-team you know, band, and um, it's really enjoyable to come here and get the win over them. And, uh, you know, to kick them goals, uh, yeah, it just, it just puts the sugar on top, you know, so... Yeah, I really enjoy this. It's a great um, rugby league community up here. And, uh, you know, I've grown up sort of only an hour and a half away, so I sort of know what to expect all the time. And, uh, you know, you've got to come up and put these games away. How much you enjoy the captaining experience? You know, your big decision last week to sit out of State of Origin. Yeah. You know, repay South Sydney. You led them so well tonight. Did you enjoy that leadership role? Yeah, mate. I, I, I talked to the big folly and I said, look, I, he just said, don't change nothing. Be you. And I said, sweet. That's, that's all I needed to do. And... The boys listen to you know the conversation. We we do it through the week. We build up to this game, and uh, you know we worked on our pro, uh, process, and, and we committed to each other. And um, you know it obviously was a bit frantic at times, but it just it was just a matter of getting everyone's eyes and, and just talking and, and just getting everyone connected again, and ready to go for the next step. You know, and the next play, and, and just keep moving forward. And that's what we did tonight. The boys showed character, like the coach said. And yeah, it was um, yeah. I definitely got a kick out of being, you know, up the top and leading the boys. But definitely, you know, I seen a lot of leaders out there also. Talk about one of those leaders, Cody Walker. Like, there's no better probably instinctual player in the game, is there? Hundred percent. He, he's on. He's better than anyone else. Oh, yeah. Look, uh, Cody gets a lot of stick, um, and I don't think it's fair a lot of the time. And there was nobody going to be under more pressure than Cody Walker leading in the start of this season. And I feel like he's coming through that now. Um, he's getting to terms with that and he's starting to play his own game, which is he takes a line on when it's on and he's doing what he needs to do for the team. But his effort areas are outstanding. But like I said, through the week, um, you know, I just said to him then, he was probably calming me down more than the other way, which is unusual. It's usually me the other way around. But uh, look, he's a pleasure to coach. He's a big part of our club. Um, and he, he, he was special this week and he was special tonight. Mate, yeah, look, um, <laughs> I don't know. I like to pull things out the backside a few times here and there in games. And, uh, you know, it's just, I guess, just instinct. You just see the body language of, you know, other teams and then uh, obviously, you know, your teammates. And then I just got to execute those plays and I practice them at training. And, yeah, nine times out of ten they come off. But, uh, you know, definitely, um, yeah, I enjoy doing it when we get it back. 
Yeah, mate, look, uh, I feel like me at the back personally, um, early in the game I was putting my wingers under pressure a lot and um, you know, I had to repay them back also and, and just come up with something. And um, But yeah, the boys really stuck hard and, and it really turned up and um, yeah, like I said, they, they, they showed character and there was some there was more than just one leader out there tonight. Look, Joe, now that you've had a pad to the captaincy, can you see yourself maybe having a formal leadership role at this club going forward? Mate, look, I, I think this is... Uh, yeah, pity just thrown upon me at a at an early stage in my career, and I've just run with it. And um, Cam Cam Muzz, he's just an awesome leader, and you see it every day. And um, you know you can't fault him for his errors, or you can't fault him for his efforts. He just knows you know what you're going to get out of a leader, and that's you know Cam Murray. And um, you know he's definitely up there with one of the greats I've ever played with. And um, yeah, I cannot wait to get him back into the team and, and start leading us again. But I really enjoyed my time. Told a big fella, told the club. I'm definitely, you know, I was def definitely hold it up there with the biggest accolades that I've achieved in my career, and um, yeah, I'm just enjoying my time here, and I'm just enjoying footy at the moment. And it was special to have Shaq out there with you, like the captain. Yeah, mate, it was emotional. I seen him be off the mm. kick off, and uh, just like seeing him back home when we were playing in Tyree, and uh, straight off the back fence. Uh, you yeah, know, that's how he is. He's, he's got some skill, and it's just about building minutes in him now. And uh, I'm sure you'll be able to see what I see, and um, and what the coach sees. So um, yeah, I can't wait for that. Yep. Oh, mate, it's pretty much self-explanatory, isn't it? Um, you know, everyone gets emotional. And um, for me, it's just about, obviously, I'm captain, but I, I've got to stick up for my teammates as well. And I feel as myself as a captain, as a leader, I've got to stick up in them situations. And regardless of what it looks like, um, you know, I'm always there. First one for my teammates, and that's why I built my game, and that's who I am. Uh, but definitely, uh, yeah, a lot of motion went into tonight, and uh, yeah, the result was obviously you know, dealt with, and uh, yeah, we come out with the two points in the end. Some great try saves for Latrell. There was the one on Dom Young, but yeah. seemed to getting a little bit higher. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Look, uh, yeah, I don't want to comment on that. That's just the game of rugby. I just, I said to Todd, the referee, and I just said, mate, look, that's I've just got to save tries, and that's the best. You know, the way I could put it, uh, you know, I've got a job to do, and that's to save tries. And um, I was there, first follower, and you know, he's a big lad, a big lad on that wing, and he's not stopping anytime soon. So I've got to throw everything at him, and you know, regardless of what happens, uh, yeah, I just took it on the chin. Well, we, we asked the try to protect our line, and that's what he did. And you know, for me, it's ridiculous as even on report. It's a penalty, I get that. It's, you know, he's made a bit of contact trying to wrap the ball up, but it's not a non-report offence, no way. And you know. Just thinking as a, as a game, we've got to understand that sometimes people get bumped on the head. It's it's part and parcel of the game. It's, we don't want it, um, but it happens. You know, there's no malice in it. Is the guy leaning in and a guy trying to stop a try? That how do you stop a try? You got to get your hands on the footy, otherwise he reaches out and scores. So, but you know, I thought we did. We handled it pretty well. There was some good tries saved us tonight as well. You Outstanding. Davey, Dave Moali, big yeah. rap to mm. him, mate. Like yeah. we we spoke through the week. Um, you know. I've, been really, really happy with the boys in the middle, and uh, you know, being able to sit there in a room with them and let them talk and just listen to you know the connection and the commitment they make to each other is just outstanding. And you know, I know now what we got to build towards you know the next few weeks, but I think this week's ticked off. You know, we just focus on you know this long turnaround, get to Monday, Tuesday, and just you know and just go with it, go with the flow, commit to each other. And like I said, you know, them things don't happen you know unless you train it. And Davey trains that. We all train it. And that's how we're going to keep showing it. And I think, you know, it's a lot, you know, like I'll give them a big rat after the game at full time there with, on the panel with Paulie Gallen. And I just said, look, our, our big boys are just our foundation tonight. And I'm really proud. Jason, you guys, it's been criticism of you guys being a little bit inconsistent this year. We've won four of the last five. Through the disjointed part of the season, the players have been out. You must be pleased with that. Yeah, I am. I've, you know, I feel like we're starting to understand, you know, you know what this team is about. We've had some change and... Um, we're getting some consistency in around other than 30 minutes against the Dragons. I think for the last month we've been very good. Um, and like I said, you know, we had every excuse tonight. We had every reason to make excuses. No one in the organisation did. No one blinked. Um, and real credit to the players who come in as well. I mean, Jed Cartwright's been out for the best part of 12 months with a back surgery. And there was talk whether he might be able to play again or not. You know, he's had two back surgeries, but come out there and play 80 minutes like he did was... And that's what our club's built on. It's built on efforts like that. And like I said, Michael Cheekham's effort. But there's a lot of special efforts tonight and we want to, you know, respect that and, and take it in. But, you know, what the big thing for us, like I said last week, after a good win was to back it up. And I felt we did... Yeah, mate, look all right out there? Yeah. Well, there you go.
pretty simple.